join into it a second late. One second late, but I think we got everything going. We tried to get going really quick here because this was a match we couldn't miss. King Randy versus Wiz is quite the matchup, as uh, as King Randy was just saying on his stream. Wiz is somewhere in like the top 15 on the leaderboard, and King Randy is like top 20 something. So so these guys are very very high rated. Believe it or not, we are watching them play in the losers uh, bracket. Wiz dropping to Nibra. Wiz coming in as the number one seed due to his recent great play and his high rate. I think you guys can hear King Randy in the background because I still have his stream open. So let me go close King Randy's stream. Um, all right, we should be good to go now. But King Randy going to start off up 1-0, playing in the orange, Wiz playing in the blue. The winner of this one gets to continue on, try and qualify to the lower bracket. The loser gets sent home and uh, will not be participating in the Fear 500 pool play, but everybody in this qualifier is so insane. I've been watching these matches, uh, just waiting to get started on the various streams that are helping me stream the, the tournament. And honestly, it was, it was a great idea just so that I could watch all the games at once. I think I'm gonna do that every time. You know, I can't stream them all, but I also just kind of want to watch them. And I get to have, like, five streams open and check in on every game. It's been great. King Ranny came in super, super cold. I was watching King Ranny's games on his stream. And his first game he played today was against Oath. Uh, like, no warm-up games. I think he had some free play. But he really came in raw. And uh, Oath played well. I mean, Oath's a great player. I was able to take King Ranny down. Wiz lost also in his first game. He got, he got a DQ to get into the uh, quarters or maybe the, the rabble for the quarters and ended up losing to Nibra. Uh, Nibra, a very great player. He, he was out of the qualifier fairly quickly last time around, but, you know, with a couple losses to some top players, so hard to blame him. So either way, both these guys very, very good, very talented, ready to show what they've got. King Randy is on a tear right now. Up 3-0. Is it best of one? Three. Wiz wanting to know after he goes down 3-0 whether or not it's a best of three or one. At the next uh, goal, I'm going to tab out to see where the semis are at. I don't want the people in the final speed waiting too long for me to stream them. Um, but I just I couldn't resist, man. I couldn't resist the Wiz versus King Randy game. King Randy repping the Space Station Gaming. Got the Space Station decal on. Wiz is a youngster. Uh, he's a 13-year-old or maybe 14-year-old. Like some of the other youngsters we've had on stream, and he has been playing really, really great. Uh, I actually saw him playing some ranked games against Chronic, and he was getting a lot of good wins against Chronic. So he's definitely a top tier player, and hopefully we see him a lot around the stream. Whether or not he pulls out a great losers bracket run and ends up qualifying, uh, so that we'll see him in the Pure 500. Uh, either way, it, it'll be great to watch him play. Yo, Penguin, thank you for Penguin 69. How could I possibly leave that number out? Thank you for the follow, man. Um, yeah, I mean, if we do next gen again, uh, we might have Wiz. It's funny, I was thinking we could do next gen after the Fear 500, which is kind of what we did last time. But the Fear 500 is almost turning into next gen. We have Chronic, who's just barely over next gen age. He's 15. We have Dries, who is under 15. We have Young Evo, who's under 15. We have um, Daniel, who's under 15. I don't know how old I Ricky is. I think he's pretty young, though. But he, he's at least, or he's not hes not a youngster. He, he's like not full on next gen age. But the point is, it's going to be a young crowd unless we see a couple more older guys make it in in this qualifier. Um, Sharp is basically, you know, the ancient veteran being college age, uh, waiting to defend his title. So even though the youngsters are coming in, the, the, the old guys can still hold it down, obviously. So I'll be excited to see who we're going to get out of two, uh, these two winners and losers finals games today. King Randy doing really great, though. This game number one against Wiz. Wiz, technically one of the toughest opponents we could possibly throw at him in this uh, qualifier number two. Wiz, both Wiz and King Randy actually weren't able to play qualifier number one. I kind of forgot about that storyline. Uh, they are both playing for Space Station Gaming in a creator-like tournament, this 3v3 tournament where... Wiz and somebody else, they won a 2v2 against a bunch of other players in order to like earn the right to play with King Ranny in, in a Space Station gaming tournament. And they actually, they got second in that. They were playing in that during the last qualifier. So we were bummed. I think they were bummed to not be able to play. 
but they're excited to play today. Both of them seemed really ready to go, so it's great to have them. Um, you know what, Kuzi? Hopefully, I can get my mod back in chat. I think he's streaming right now, but that is actually last bracket. So if, if you follow that link to the event, you should be able to find the second bracket. But right now, that's the bracket from yesterday. How can you get invited by winning in your duels a lot and being top? That's right, yeah. Winning in like the top 100 and playing in my uh, show matches is how the guys who are at the top got uh, got into the show matches. Buried Living, you can stream all you want as long as you keep modding me. As, as long as you keep being my super mod. Wiz. Working his way back into this one. Two to five. That's, I just remembered I wanted to tab out so I can see how the bracket is progressing to see if two guys are waiting for me in uh, that winner's final. Wiz working his way back in. A completely dominating early game from King Randy, but Wiz with a couple kickoff goals is now working his way back into the match. Um, as I was saying, I don't know if I got to finish it. Wiz and King Randy were teammates, so these guys definitely buds. Recently commented up in a 3-3 tournament, playing really well together. So I imagine they wish they didn't have to play each other, but sometimes that's just the way it goes. King Ranny, his early lead is now completely erased with 43 seconds left to go. I guess I shouldn't say completely, but in 1v1s, it's like one goal in 43 seconds. That might as well be erased. So very impressive play from Wiz. Kickoff goal, there it is. I just called it a little bit early. It is now fully erased. King Randy playing really great at the start. Wiz having to shake off some nerves, maybe a playing in the lower bracket. Wiz was so worried, he was asking whether or not it was a best of one. He was like, hey, do I, do I need to try and win my current game where I'm down four, or am I gonna have a little bit of a buffer? Um, and he does have a little bit of buffer. That being said, he does not want to need it. He is trying to take King Randy down in the first game. And a nice air dribble bump, or kind of like a Night Owl bump. Let's see. Watch this from Wiz's perspective. Yeah, that, that was that's a Night Owl bump. King Randy not able to get the redirection out of net. Pretty close, though, as he just barely doesn't make it in. Guys, the, the semifinals right now, we have a lot of games going on. Um, so feel free to check out the other streams. Danger Taco and Bass from the Past currently have two of the different semifinals. Nibra versus Plum, I think, is a bit of a surprise semifinal. I mean, both of those guys, I mean, everybody in this bracket are, are very, very good. But uh, Nibra and Plum might be a little bit of a surprise. King Granny has an opportunity to tie up this game number one. He's going to do so from the corner with... Taps it up in the air. The double touch should hit to the ground. So Wiz with a huge comeback. King Randy might have gone up 5-0. But since then, Wiz scores six in a row. And he will take game number one. GLHF from King Randy. The signature of King Randy. He is always telling his opponent, good luck, have fun. Something that's pretty rare in, uh, in the 1v1 scene or in just Rocket League in general. Because I, I think... Personally, it's because so many people play with controller. So saying good luck, have fun requires like dropping your controller and going to type, which, you know, unless they add a pregame chat, like a pregame quick chat, I don't think people are going to say it that much. But not the case with King Randy. King Randy always giving the good luck, have fun, always having a positive attitude. He really, I mean, I was, I was just watching his stream. I really like watching King Randy in general. And I was watching his stream before this and, you know, he just he talks about how much more fun it is to play in tournaments, how the adrenaline gets pumping when you have something to play for. It's not just ranked. So I love watching King Randy. Of course, I want to see him succeed. Wiz, a great guy too. I mean, that's a problem with, with these tournaments and, and these guys that have played on my stream so much. Um, I just want them all to win. And they can't all win. Only two of them can win. And, you know, it's just, it hurts. It hurts, man. You have to shake the personal feelings as a caster. But... You know, I just feel like I've been hanging out with these guys, watching them play for so long, watch them get better. Why can't they all win? Why can't they all be part of it? But Wiz, starting right where he left off in game number one, he is up 2-0. Wiz in the past has looked a lot like any of the other youngsters. Very mechanical player, can play from the ceiling when he needs to. Nice cut in field from King Ranny. 
Ding Randy, when he shakes the nerves, is a top, top level player. I mean, we were talking about these guys and, and how highly they're rated, kind of in the most calm environment that ranked is. Ranked is really a place where the nerves are kind of turned off. So many different ranked games are played. Nice tap over Wiz here for King, but he should not be able to get there. Wiz back in control. Lobu situation though. King Randy's been doing a really good job of starving him out. King tap off the corner. This double tap, no good. Let's go on, Justin Cap. Wiz. I don't know if we consider that to be a Jonski or what, but a nice flick. I think I've maybe heard some people call it the Fortnite flick. I, I'm not sure what the Fortnite flick is. I've seen that a couple times, but I hear all the kids talking about the Fortnite flick. Just want to be hip, you know? Just trying to be hip. Wiz is going to get a nice takeaway deep in his corner. Randy's going to give him a nice shot. Might have been a nice catch off the side wall. Just a little bit, playing a little bit faster than King Randy was expecting. Big kick out for Wiz. I think this is the first time either one of them has uh, shaken up the kickoff. Nice challenge. Wiz air dribble. This is the nature of a 1-1 of gamer who likes to take it in the air, likes to play the air dribbles. I mean, you have to give some level of your dribbles away. Uh, basically, the level of effectiveness with those is directly correlated to how often you can not give them away. Not necessarily how often you score, I would say, but how often you can make sure they're not counterattacked and they're not taken away for a goal. And the best player, of all, I always say, the best player we've ever seen to do it is Daniel. He has found a way to just almost exclusively use those, at least when he played in the past. It's been a while since we've had some Daniel games play, so it'll be interesting to see the kind of play style we see from him now. But he used to just dominate in the air. And I think that was around the time the meta was really focused on that. I think the meta has kind of shifted back towards the ground a little bit. Um, people have gotten so used to defending in the air. But sometimes, if you're talented enough, it does not matter. The fun thing about King Ranny is he has some drift plays that uh, are definitely more spectacular than anybody else's ground plays. But the drift plays kind of work like how the aerial plays do for everyone else. Right there, King Ranny, a great drift to keep the ball on top of his car and, and keep himself in front of the net. But honestly, probably a little bit greedy, just like how sometimes those aerial games are extended a little bit longer than they should for style. King Randy has that style on the ground and, and maybe sometimes tries to mix uh, mix it up a little bit too much when he should just be bailing on his attack. But nice, this is when it works, man. This is when the, the drifts work. This is a great catch from King Randy. A nice challenge. This angle is not there. Like that tur drift and turn is about as smooth as it gets from King Randy in order to get himself a third goal. So he's got a minute 30 left to make back his one goal deficit and getting a kickoff possession is definitely a way to do it. Nice early flip. King Randy playing it through the air. He says, I'm not just a ground game guy. His 50 is decent, but is it enough to prevent the counterattack? And it looks like it just barely is. Maybe slightly helped out by the fact that Wiz didn't get the best counterattack of all time. But still, great play from King Randy and definitely a sign of the kind of development that King Randy's made in his game. That was not always a play that he could go for consistently or protect himself, you know, on defense from when it didn't succeed like he just did. So a great play for King Randy, a good signs for the future for the King Randy. Now whether or not he'll be able to take back this game number two and stay alive in the tournament is up to this last 40 seconds. His backflip trying to get it over Wiz. He's playing with very low boost, but he is not afraid to play some ground game with as little boost as possible. He's going to have to keep doing so. Wiz, a little bit of a time save. Tap back into his back corner. Definitely too early to completely time waste with one goal. King Randy should be in a good spot. He should have an open dribble. And Wiz does get the boost to respond, but lots of open space. King Randy all alone trying to tip it over Wiz. That is a good shot. Wiz was pulling in really, really close on his shadow. But King Randy doesn't get it over, so this could be it. Wiz ceiling reset, he'll tap it down. GG's as Wiz takes it two to zero, but it was great to once again have King Randy playing on stream.
GLHF from King Ranny, the signature of King Ranny. He is always telling his opponent, good luck, have fun. Something that's pretty rare in uh, in the 1v1 scene or in just Rocket League in general because I, I think personally it's because so many people play with controller. So saying good luck, have fun requires like dropping your controller and going to type, which, you know, unless they add a pregame chat, like a pregame quick chat, I don't think people are going to say it that much. But... Not the case with King Randy. King Randy always giving the good luck, have fun, always having a positive attitude. He really, I mean, I was, I was just watching his stream. I really like watching King Randy in general. And I was watching his stream before this, and, you know, he just he talks about how much more fun it is to play in tournaments, how the adrenaline gets pumping when you have something to play for. It's not just ranked. So I love watching King Randy. Of course, I want to see him succeed. Wiz, a great guy, too. I mean, it, that's a problem with, with these tournaments and, and these guys that have played on my stream so much. Um... I just want them all to win, and they can't all win. Only two of them can win, and you know it's just it hurts. It hurts, man. You have to shake the personal feelings as a caster, but you know I just feel like I've been hanging out with these guys, watching them play for so long, watch them get better. Why can't they all win? Why can't they all be part of it? But Wiz starting right where he left off in game number one. He is up 2-0. Wiz in the past has looked a lot like any of the other youngsters. Very mechanical player, can play from the ceiling when he needs to. Nice cut in field from King Ranny. King Ranny, when he shakes the nerves, is a top, top level player. I mean, we were talking about these guys and, and how highly they're rated, kind of in the most calm environment that ranked is. Ranked is really a place where the nerves are kind of turned off, so many different ranked games are played. Nice tap over Wiz here for King, but he should not be able to get there. Wiz back in control. Lobu situation though, King Randy's been doing a really good job of starving him out. King, tap off the corner. This double tap, no good. Let's go on, Justin Cap. Wiz. I don't know if we consider that to be a Jonski or what, but a nice flick. I think I've maybe heard some people call that the Fortnite flick. I, I'm not sure what the Fortnite flick is. I've seen that a couple times, but I hear all the kids talking about the Fortnite flick. Just want to be hip, you know? Just trying to be hip. Wiz is going to get a nice takeaway deep in his corner. Randy's going to give him a nice shot. Might have been a nice catch off the side wall. Just a little bit, playing a little bit faster than King Randy was expecting. Big kick out for Wiz. I think this is the first time either one of them has uh, shaken up the kickoff. Nice challenge. Wiz air dribble. This is the nature of a 1v1 one -one gamer who likes to take it in the air, likes to play the air dribbles. I mean, you have to give some level of your dribbles away. Uh, basically, the level of effectiveness with those is directly correlated to how often you can not give them away. Not necessarily how often you score, I would say, but how often you can make sure they're not counterattacked and they're not taken away for a goal. And the best player of all, I always say it, the best player we've ever seen to do it is Daniel. He has found a way to just almost exclusively use those, at least when he played in the past. It's been a while since we've had some Daniel games play, so it'll be interesting to see the kind of play style we see from him now, but he used to just dominate in the air. And I think that was around the time the meta was really focused on that. I think the meta has kind of shifted back towards the ground a little bit. Um, people have gotten so used to defending in the air. But sometimes, if you're talented enough, it does not matter. The fun thing about King Ranny is he has some drift plays that uh, are definitely more spectacular than anybody else's ground plays. But the drift plays kind of work like how the aerial plays do for everyone else. Right there, King Ranny, a great drift to keep the ball on top of his car and, and keep himself in front of the net. But honestly, probably a little bit greedy, just like how sometimes those aerial games are extended a little bit longer than they should for style. King Ranny has that style on the ground and, and maybe sometimes tries to mix, uh, mix it up a little bit too much when he should just be bailing on his attack. But nice, this is when it works, man. This is when the, the drifts work. This is a great catch from King Rennie. A nice challenge. This angle is not there. 
Like, that tur drifted turn is about as smooth as it gets from King Ranny in order to get himself a third goal. So he's got a minute 30 left to make back his one goal deficit, and getting a kickoff possession is definitely a way to do it. Nice early flip. King Randy playing it through the air. He says, I'm not just a ground game guy. His 50 is decent, but is it enough to prevent the counterattack? And it looks like it just barely is. Maybe slightly helped out by the fact that Wiz didn't get the best counterattack of all time. But still, great play from King Randy, and definitely a sign of the kind of development that King Randy's made in his game. That was not always a play that he could go for consistently or protect himself, you know, on defense from when it didn't succeed like he just did. So a great play for King Randy, a good signs for the future for the King Randy. Now, whether or not he'll be able to take back this game number two and stay alive in the tournament is up to this last 40 seconds. His backflip trying to get it over Wiz. He's playing with very low boost, but he is not afraid to play some ground game with as little boost as possible. He's going to have to keep doing so. Wiz, a little bit of a time save. Tap back into his back corner. Definitely too early to completely time waste with one goal. King Randy should be in a good spot. He should have an open dribble. And Wiz does get the boost to respond. But lots of open space. King Randy all alone trying to tip it over Wiz. That is a good shot. Wiz was pulling in really, really close on his shadow. But King Randy doesn't get it over. So this could be it. Wiz ceiling reset, he'll tap it down. GG's as Wiz takes it two to zero, but it was great to once again have King Ranny playing on stream.